Next resource types, pods. So I can do kubectl get pods. It's telling me no resources found. We know that this is a lie because just like a few minutes ago, uh, when we did uh, describe on node one, we saw a bunch of system pods. So where are these pods? Uh, these pods are in a different namespace. If I do kubectl get namespaces, I see that I have the default namespace, the cube public namespace, and the cube system namespace. And by default, as you might guess, uh, when I list resources, I'm listing the default namespace. And at this point, the, there are no pods in the default namespace. However, if I do get pods dash dash namespace cube system, now I get a, a bunch of pods. Um, so I can recognize the pods of the control plane, like etcd, API server, controller manager. Um, I also see that I have a handful of cube proxy pods, of WeaveNet pods, and Prometheus uh, pods. Um, <clears throat> okay. So all the um, all the kubectl commands can take that uh, dash dash namespace or dash n in short flag. Uh, I can even do a dash dash all namespaces, and in that case, I get a list of all the pods in all the namespaces. Which at this point, there are only things in the kube system namespace anyway. Um, some resources have namespaces, for instance, the pods belong to a namespace, but some resources are just global, they don't belong to a namespace. For instance, nodes. Nodes don't have a namespace, there is just like one single namespace for the whole cluster. Namespaces don't have a namespace, like namespaces exist on the global level, they are not nested. Alright. Um, Before I move on, one thing to notice is that for cube proxy and weave, you can see that we have four pods each time. Coincidence, four in, is the number of nodes that we have in the cluster. So these specific pods are deployed with a special construct that ensures that we have one pod for each node of the cluster. This ensures that uh, on each node of the cluster, we have an instance of cube proxy. On each node of the cluster, I have an instance of weave, and automatically, if I add nodes to my cluster, they will receive a, a copy of these pods as well. 